Welcome to my workbench. This is just a little uh, video just to show you what we did here. Starting here we have our 9 volt battery. Same as what we did last year. There's our regular clip and power leads. This goes into the new board we have for this year. This is the 5 volt regulator. So that takes the 9 volts and converts it to 5 volts DC. That continues through the red and black wire and goes to our new board that we just created today. This new board is the one that takes the 5 volts, puts power out to a set of emitters. The emitters are located over here. They're just simply two LEDs mounted in this wooden frame and they're to, they are emitting infrared light at this point. That infrared light is then received by these photodiodes that are on this side that are in black. Both of those are connected to the board here in those middle blue terminals and the chip on the left is an LM2903. This is a dual voltage comparator which we are only using half of. So we are measuring the difference in voltage between now and when we block the signal going to the photo detector. When we do that the small red LED on this board will light up to tell us that something is blocking the beam. It is not complete. At that time we will also see the green LED come on, but it's on for a different reason. The other chip that's located on this board is an LM555 timer. This is connected in such a way that it actually counts down from the time that we have the signal. So as soon as we block the infrared source, we will pick up the detection which will turn on the output of this 555 timer. Once the signal, the infrared signal has been returned, the red light will go out and the timer will then start to count down for approximately six seconds. After six seconds, if the beam is not interrupted again, the output will shut off. When the output is on, it goes to the board that we built last year, this being either a strobe or in this case this is the one for the alternating flashing lights which are located behind. So very quickly on a demonstration I'll put my finger down to block it. We can see the bottom red light, the LED, is coming on and off as my fingers moving there. The green LED above it is on. While it is on the flashing lights are flashing which I must have knocked a wire off while moving it around but that's okay. As I remove my finger we shall see that after approximately six seconds that green light goes out and the lights stop. So we'll just wiggle these wires around a bit. In fact I think that's all I've done. Let's block it quickly. There we go. That was just me moving things around. We can see we have our alternating lights and they clear. Now if I block the signal the alternating lights start flashing. I remove the signal. They continue to flash. I block it again. Each time I block it, and it doesn't matter which infrared, there are two infrareds and two receivers there, two photodiodes that are receiving the infrared signals. And we can see that the red can actually go out when my finger is between the sets. So as I move back and forth, and the output maintains, it doesn't change. Once the beam is unbroken, wait six seconds, turns on the light. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Please have a look at my website www.kingerland that's k i n g e r l a n d.com and go to my model railroading site for full instructions and other links thank you